right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called The House on Chelochi Street. Uh, this is another Israeli flick from 1973. Um, it's about a 15-year-old uh, Egyptian Jewish boy who uh, emigrates with his widowed mother in 1946 to Tel Aviv. Um, it's kind of uh, like Amarcord um, in that respect. It's about a young teenage boy who's living in the past in a foreign land far away. Um, kind of like that. Um, I'm not sure how the uh, widow mother's husband dies, but um, it doesn't really say. I guess he died in war. Who knows? Israel's always been um, a hell of a place. I mean that uh, literally and figur figuratively. Um, now it's a democracy with Netanyahu in charge. Oh boy. Uh, I don't think it, things have improved in the last 65 years or whatever. Um, so, um, so she's scrubbing floors and um, trying to support four kids. Uh, meanwhile, the 15-year-old is um, is working at some kind of uh, machinery shop, machine shop. Um, working on some drill and there's a uh, communist dude there wants to start a union he doesn't like the the, uh, the second in charge yelling at him all the time telling him to stop goofing off so he tries to form a union he gets beat up and uh, and then the kid doesn't have a job because I guess he's part of the strike that they're they're trying to do. Um, don't really care for that part too much. Um, eh. Meanwhile, the Brit British mandate is on, and I guess the uh, United Nations is um, is working on kicking the Brits out, uh, which they don't uh, appreciate too much. They like being in charge. Uh, the Brits impose curfews. They're um, they're trying to keep law and order, but really it's organized chaos, as um, Ludwig von Mises put it. Um, so this house on Chelochi Street, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is um, it's always getting bombed. Um, I think it gets bombed a couple times. Meanwhile. Um, the widow mother is trying to um, date this older guy but she's not too hot for him because he's much older and um, there's this other dude trying to uh, hit on hit on the uh, widow mom uh, he doesn't have too much money so she's not interested in him either uh, both these dudes, by the way, are in Daughters, Daughters, if you're interested. Um, movie, interestingly enough, that was made in the same year as this one, I think. Um, so you can watch both movies on um, Netflix Instant View. I think both of them are subtitled, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this one has English subtitles and... Um, Uh, there's a little romance deal going on with a 15 year old and uh, an older um, an older woman age 25 uh, she's quite comely actually she's pretty good looking for um, for a white woman uh, I'll give her credit she's she's quite good looking in this um, and you get to see her boobies too. Um, so there's that. I, I'm not sure how 
a 25 year old uh, married woman who got kicked out of the kibbutz could be having an affair with a 15 year old I didn't know that was legal in Israel in 1946 or 47 48 whenever whenever she's uh, humping on him that was mostly dry humping by the way um, I thought that was only legal in Mississippi but I guess I was wrong uh, anyway um, there's that and uh, that, that part was pretty good I enjoyed that part I didn't enjoy the ending though um, I'm not gonna spoil it for you and tell you what happens at the end but it was it was a pretty good story there's a lot of different things going on in this dude this 15 year old life uh, he's growing up quite quickly and I like the fact that um, the babe got kicked out of the kibbutz she's quite an individualist in that respect I wouldn't want to live in a communist kibbutz neither uh, <coughs> but that's just me uh, anyway uh, I give this one four stars on Netflix um, just because I hated the ending uh, I didn't like the uh, the striking unionist communist dude that guy kind of pissed me off uh, not that the uh, they were taking sides in this they were trying to portray it like it really happened and there's a cool dude at, in the beginning and the end who uh, who hates newspapers that dude's cool too I, I give him props anyway I um, hope I didn't spoil the end by telling you what happens at the very very end uh, there's some other things that happened before that so I didn't spoil it all the way <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, check it out. Uh, this one's called uh, House on Chilochi Street. Uh, I keep messing up the pronunciation, but who cares? Players.